what's up guys so today let's talk a little bit about iff All right so iff are identifiers for friend or foe um, it's really just a uh, an easier way of of identifying your bros um, there's a, do a a billion different ways of doing this as you can see already on my table here there are a ton of versions or or ways to identify yourself to others now, um, and, and this is specifically speaking for, or mainly, let's say that, mainly speaking for using night vision, right? Uh, or in the dark type of stuff, because during the day we can just look and see, and it's not hard to identify your bro, uh, usually. Now, with these different items, um, we're not talking about deconfliction at all. That that could be used, that could be a completely different thing, um, and and that's that's a completely different uh, video, really. But what this is, is IFF, right? So, so hey, how do I identify myself if one of my bros is looking at me under night vision or is uh, scanning an area and he can, he can quickly identify me? Now, passive identification, right? And, and that's stuff that you don't have to turn on, doesn't use batteries. And that, that's really made from some kind of reflective... Uh, material. So in the inside of this flag, that little uh, white or silvery kind of reflective material, you can kind of see it in the light there. That is a good identifier. And when light is shined on it, it reflects back, letting you know, and it's brighter than most things, letting you know under night vision that, hey, whether it's IR or, uh, or white light, usually it'll reflect these. Now, just double check on where you buy them because some are just bullshit and they come off the internet from China and they're not using the right reflective IR properties. So you're, you're just going to get reflection off of white light, which isn't a bad thing, but is something to think about. Um, a different version of this, right, is something that we used to make ourselves. And uh, you can kind of see one right here. And it's a sewn square of some kind of reflective material. Now this one's probably dull as hell from over the years and uh, has a lot of Afghan dust on it, but we sewed these ourselves by hand uh, overseas and and most of us would grab a, a strip of, of reflective luminescent tape, right? And it's nothing crazy, it's just, it's just reflective tape. And you go ahead and put a piece of Velcro on it and we used to sew it just so it didn't come apart because of the heat and things like that. So you can make these pretty easily with some uh, glint tape or reflective tape of some sort. Um, and and we used to wear these on our eye on our ear pro on the back of our helmets, similar to cat eyes. Uh, those of you that have been in the military and had to use cat eyes on the back of your helmets or on the back of your uh, your actual uh, PCs or caps or whatever. So. Just another another way or simple, more uh, passive way of using uh, identifiers. Also, reflective flags. There's a lot of them out there in the little form. Uh, this one, I think, is uh, this is from Mayhem uh, Syndicate. They sent me one. It was really nice of him. I really appreciate it, dude. Um, but it's a little reflective uh, American flag. So kind of nice, simple way of doing it. Now, let's go into, I guess you can start going a little bit more expensive, right? You have some of the, let me move this guy over. He's in the wrong spot. Uh, some of the stuff that that is disposable, right? So almost not one time use, but a couple times use. So uh, chem lights, really good for identification, really good for, uh, mainly they're used for IDing rooms and uh, and cleared rooms and, and made sure that they're, you know, on the secondaries. Uh, it's all good after SSE that this is something that's used to mark those rooms, right? Uh, sometimes it's in the center of the room once it's cleared and once it's clear a second time and SSE has been done, it'll be moved to the doorway, kind of help you guys out with, uh, with identifying doors as you go through a, a structure. Now, these can also be used uh, exteriorly um, and... I use them all the time in classes, right? Uh, where where there's one on somebody's helmet or somebody's belt, especially low light courses. I want to identify all the students on the range, so it's easier to uh, make sure that everybody's in in the right direction or up range uh, if we're going to shoot for further distances and and quickly identify people with some kind of active chem light or glow sticks. So these are these are one time uses, right? They last for I don't know six hours or so. 
Um, some people are, some of them say like eight to 12 hours. I find that to be, uh, a little, little weather and environmental dependent. So just be aware of that. So it's just a chemolite. They're really cheap. Uh, you can buy boxes of almost hundreds of them for, for like 30 bucks. So nothing crazy, but they are disposable. Um, then we get into the disposable, but multiple use, uh, type of IFF. And that's uh, V lights from SS Precision. They make uh, pretty good lights. They're they're kind of cool because they 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 come with Velcro and they they bend. So you can actively turn these on and do stuff with them. And they're bent on, let's say, a helmet or a dog's collar or uh, a pack of some sort. I've seen these on plate carriers. It, it's uh, kind of kind of up to you. Uh, some of them have a strobe feature. Some of them have a solid feature. They come in different colors, but they're the one trick ponies. And these buttons are usually pretty. There you go. Nope. There we go. So they're they're kind of a pain in the pain in the butt to use. Now, once the battery's done skis in this thing, it is not replaceable, right? Uh, I guess you could cut it out and try, but uh, it's uh, it's supposed to be a a one time battery usage. So once it's out, it's out. They come in IR. Uh, you're not going to be able to see that one because it's in infrared. Um, so IR for for those of you that just want IFF in IR for night vision. So pretty cool, uh, nice little features. I like them. Uh, they're useful for certain things. I don't use them for my helmet, but I use them for other things. Like if I have to mark something or mark somebody, mark my pack, whatever it is. Uh, the med kit on the range is usually marked with a red one of these. So something to think about, I don't know, those of you that, that do night uh, courses or train at night, it's nice to mark your med kit on the range or if it's if it's on a range like a big trauma bag uh, with a red uh, marker of some sort or a red chem light, doesn't matter. Um, then we get into uh, another one or another version of that. This is called the Spark. It's from uh, TNVC. And this one's pretty cool. It's, it's just a tap it and it'll go blinky blinky. I believe this one died if I'm not mistaken, but um, but what it is, is it's a one-time use. Once again, once the battery's out, it's out. And uh, it's pretty cool. You just you just click it, as you can hear. So once you click it, it strobes red. A slow strobe, not a fast strobe. And, uh, and it's pretty dim. It's not super bright, but you can see it pretty bright at night which is useful, right? So it's not so bright that it's gonna blind you if you're standing behind it under nods, but it's gonna be bright enough if you need to identify it from a few hundred meters. So pretty cool. Um, and those are also not very expensive and uh, and they're, they're one not one time use, but couple time use if you wanna call it that. Then we get into some of the battery powered IFF and there are plenty more than this. Uh, I can't find my mantis strobe and i can't find my uh one of my surefire lights that goes on the helmet that has an iff on it as well couldn't find them so we're gonna have to deal with it but this is a uh, core survival makes both of these and uh and they're made uh for helmets right uh, specifically for helmets this one's actually awesome for dogs as well so on a dog collar um my bad uh, on a dog collar you can you can easily like uh wrap this around on on one of those tie it down you have some tie down points on these things and and keep it on there and you can you could quickly like identify fido as he's going through and he's he's pretty easily identified um you could there's also a strobe feature on here and then there's also an ir feature which you cannot see right at the moment so something cool uh because it's battery powered we can we can really do a lot of stuff with this and and it's multi multi use so that's kind of nice right if we're trying to save money or if if we don't need any of these disposable types so a little bit more expensive but it's multi use and for those guys with dogs this is a fantastic use of that um and it uses a, a one two three battery and this is a uh, core precisions i believe it's the hellstar five um four or five i can't remember exactly um, so pretty awesome, and it comes with Velcro lined on the bottom, if you couldn't see it already. So the next one, and this is my favorite one, and this is one I've uh, I've been using on all my helmets lately um, in the last couple years, and this is the uh, Core Precision, and this is the Hellstar 6. Once again, battery-powered, Velcro lined, 
and this one has a couple different modes, right? So you have a visible uh, constant and visible strobe. And then when you flip this dial over here up, it's now IR constant and IR strobe. So I like these because they give you a lot of versatility in what you're able to do. And you have really, really tactile clicks that go along with it. Um, being that they're small, they're not very uh, intrusive on your helmet, right? They take up very little space, but they, uh, which I guess you can see right here, they, they don't take up a lot of space. They're pretty, pretty nifty. They're easy to use. Um, they're kind of retard proof, so that's kind of nice. Um, and also, once again, rechargeable batteries, and they're pretty hard. So not a, not a bad use of this. This is not Picatinny rail, so people have asked that a few times. It's not. I don't know why they do it that way. I don't know if that's a shape that they chose for some reason. And then last one that, that we're going to talk about is one of my oldest strobes. This is one that I used to have on a helmet back in El Deo when uh when i was operational in, in battalion and this is this is an ms2000 this is really really uh just one of the only strobes we ever had and it's mainly for signaling but it was something we we went ahead and, and made it for helmets by putting velcro on it and sticking it to the top of our helmets and usually cutting off or dummying this cord down to something but it's pretty damn simple right so this cap makes it ir it's an ir filter and when you release this, it just blinks. That's it. So nothing fancy, nothing, nothing too wild. Um, I, <laughs> it's literally not the, uh, not the epicenter of technology in any way, but it's a strobe that I had, so I wanted to show you guys as well. So just another version of IFF, but it's uh, strictly IR or when the cap's off, strictly viz. So, and it's only strobe. Um, and it's it's pretty good for like uh, those guys that wanna go play in the woods. Uh, if you were going to go out there and, and possibly get lost, uh, probably a good thing to have because you can signal birds really easy with that white strobe. So guys, those are some of the IFF toys that I have. Um, like I said, I have a few others. Uh, just haven't or I couldn't find them. I have a lot of crap. Sometimes you just can't find your stuff um, But there's there's a lot of stuff to be said about getting the right equipment for what you're gonna do This is all just examples, right? You have to think about what your mission set is what you need it for and then what's gonna fit your role the best for me most of the time uh, doing what I do this uh, core survival uh, Hellstar 6 fits the bill right it's the easiest one it it does the battery stuff so i could change it out if it dies i don't have to buy a new one and uh and it has multiple modes that i can choose from for the specific uh moment in time that i need it the all the passive stuff is always nice to have passive versions all the disposable stuff depending on what you're using it for I find it to be uh, pretty useful, like these red ones for my med kits. I really love those. Um, chem lights, they're they're indisposable. Uh, they're they're super useful stuff that you can use for a lot of different things, not just for marking rooms or 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 indirect fire or anything like that, um, or <laughs> or lifting fire <laughs> on an L-shaped ambush. Um, <laughs> those of you that know. Uh, so, so there's uses for these things otherwise, uh, just to illuminate what you need, right? So if you needed some extra illumination for a certain period of time. So just something to think about, guys. These are just different examples. Uh, hope this helps a couple people, especially when it comes to like helmet stuff. Um, and, uh, and in the future, I'll try and make more similar videos on doing stuff like this. So have a good one. Bye, Night Vision.